right. All right, so I get started. Let's move my Joy Cons here. Right, everything looks good. I hope so. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And we got everything? Alright, cool. So, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to my Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD stream. My name is B Knight. And yesterday, last stream, we started the game. We did everything in Skyloft to get off the ground. Things went down with Zelda. We're back on the surface. We figured out that we gotta go after her and stuff. We did the first dungeon, fought the fabulous Girahim. Girahim. And we are just outside the first temple. So now we gotta go to... The Elden Mountain, Elden Volcano, something like that. The fiery area, basically. So, I guess without further ado, let's get started. So, I hope everyone's having a great, wonderful day. It is a little warm today here in the States, but, um, yeah, we'll be fine. I hope so. Anywho. Alright, so we just got done with the first dungeon, like I mentioned before. We need to go to of Elden, but, um, there's a couple things we can do. Well, not really. We should probably return to the sky. That's probably a good idea. To the sky. Yes, I wish to return to the sky. That's basically where they got Vivali's Gale. Master B-Knight, when you hit the Goddess Cube with the Skyward Surfer earlier, I was able to detect the resulting energy reaction above the clouds. The location I marked on your map indicates the spot where I sense the energy reaction. I advise you to investigate the area around this location. Not a bad idea! I set a waypoint, so where is that at? Let's figure this out. Alright, so it's gonna be behind us. I see it. Okay, cool. Slide downward so that way we can get some speed. What's that over there? It's like a portal of some sort. Oh, I just need to go faster. Okay, that's kind of neat. Can I get off? Oh, there we go. And we're good. It's like dropping out of the party, but some Fortnite. Okay, let's open this up. Your adventure pack bigger. Now you can fit an additional item. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm glad. Let's check out this area. Remember, there was like an inn or something around here. Let's, just, let's take a look around first. Those and the we got a lot of rupees. So let's see if we can spend it at the bazaar or something. I'll check here first, though. Maybe I can spend it here. A heart piece up there.
The lefty pumpkin. Okay, I can't use any items in here. That's not good. This sucks, people. Hi. Well, well, welcome. I can see from your handsome outfit that you're a Skyloft Knight. I hope you make yourself at home. Have the rupees sitting on top of the chandelier caught your eye? Don't go thinking you can get those down, you hear? You might think you could knock the rupees down by bumping something and making a counter shake, but don't even think about it. Are we clear? Okay, so you gotta not do it in front of my guys. Listen to this. The old guy over there says he saw a demon. He obviously trying to get Kina's attention, but he won't get anywhere using creepy lines like that. Yeah, let's see what he has to say. Ooh. You believe me, don't you? Uh, believe what? There's a fiendish demon living in Skyloft. I'm telling you, I came this close to getting eaten by the, that evil beast. You look like you've got a little night training, but you better keep your guard up, or he'll take a bite out of you too. All right, let's see what this person says. Right. Welcome to every bird writer's favorite rest stop, the Lumpy Pumpkin. This is the one and only place you can enjoy some of our famous pumpkin soup. What do you think? Want to try a bit of what all the buzz is about? Just a little. Mm. I'm impressed that a young man like yourself can appreciate the refined taste. Just 10 rupees a bottle. Interested? Fill her up! It's about time. Take this. We got some hump pumpkin soup. The homemade soup is pump specialty. But watch it, it'll get cold in 5 minutes. This is meant to be enjoyed hot, so you know it'll be cold if it's just 5 minutes. Oh, really? You could sleep here. You really shouldn't open other people's covers without permission. Okay, so you could sleep. Let's take a look upstairs. Supposing you're not allowed to knock over the chandelier? Is that true? Oh, is that one douchebag here? Ooh. Hey, B Knight. I don't think I'd see you here, but you're wondering what I'm doing? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> I think I mentioned this before, but man. I really, I'm really into bugs. That's why I'm out collecting insects wherever I think I'll find one. If you have a bug net too, you should try catching them. <laughs> if you don't have one, you can pick one out with Beetle's Air Shop. I'm sure the sweaty shopkeeper is flying around Skyloft now. Hmm, I wonder if that's like a gate. Like... Well, they might have got pissed off, okay. I was thinking you could probably jump, but uh Guess not. I'll come back later for that, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, where was the other one that um we found? It was right there. Sure. Alright, to the skies! Which direction are we find? Oh, we're finding the other way. Okay, we want to go the opposite direction. We may have a compass of sorts. Okay, I see some stuff up here. Oh, those are bad guys, okay. We don't want to mess with those. Why that island I see over here now? Is it above me? I don't know. Yeah, it's gotta be that little island over there. Get an extra heart. We should probably go back to Skyloft. I do want to check something. Oh, wrong button. Um. All right. Let's fly as high as we can here.
Now, I remember this looked magnificent as a kid. Yeah, let's see what we can get in the shops. We have so much money, might as well use it. I forgot how to increase your wallet size. I hope there is a way. Oh, here that was. Hey. Now, uh, let's see what's in the shop. I remember we could use a shield, a better shield. Or I need it to be the next that we're gonna go to. Ah, uh, there we go. Move over. I am gonna need this. Aha! That there is a very sturdy iron shield! It's much more durable than a wooden shield, and I'm happy to report that it won't burst into flames. I suppose I should warn you that it won't protect you from electricity, which can come as a nasty shock. It's just which is 100 rupees. Care to buy it, friend? Yeah, we're gonna need it. You got an iron shield! This sturdy metal shield is unaffected by fire, but watch out for electrical attacks. <laughs> Aha! Thank you for your loyal and continued patronage, friend! If you have any doubts about the durability of the shield, I suggest you have it examined the scrap shop. Provided you take good gondo there, the necessary treasures and the like, kill for having upgrade your items. Yeah. Oh, hold up. What's this? There's a small seed satchel, which is everybody can carry 10 additional seeds. Every single one of these costs 100 rupees, dear friend. Sure. I got money. You just carry 10 extra dicker seeds. Keep up with an easy sink shot. Aha! The customer's always right! I take the liberty of placing your purchases in the pouch. Press R. Uh -huh. so you give, oh, it gives you a bigger version. Small seat bag gives you a pouch. You can carry 10 additional. Bring up a single seat that costs 100 rupees. Do you have a deal? No, I don't have enough money. <laughs> That's quite alright, Fred. I have quite a few other fine items in stock, so do take your time and look around. Alright, so. I equip the new shield. Ah, here we go. There we go. Mm. I wonder if I can find Beetle Shop, or else I'll just keep moving forward. Spent all my money. I spent some money, which I had so much anyway, so kind of worked out. Oh yeah, I have to go to the Goddess Statue. That's right, because I got the the tablet thingy. Uh, it's, she's, it's over there. Okay, let's go there first. Run. Oh yeah, I remember every time you turn on the game in the Wii version, if you got like a stamina fruit for the first time again in that play, play it would just, uh, it wouldn't, you know... It wouldn't, like, it would teach you again how to use it, which is so annoying. They got rid of that. Thank goodness. Master, I have confirmed the location of a second opening in the Cloud Barrier. It is located in the skies to the northeast. This opening will allow you to access the new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as you complete necessary preparations. Okay, cool. I wanted to look at Beetle's shop, but I don't know where he is. So I think I might just go ahead and, um... Just go. Kukiel, Kukiel, where could I have that child gone? Oh, Kukiel, where did you go? What will I do if she's been kidnapped? Oh, Bee Knight. Oh, what is it, lady? What perfect timing. You haven't seen my Kukia, have you? No, I haven't. Oh, I see. Please, Bee Knight, won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find her. I read someone I could have propelled, but a few people have said she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Someone else even said they thought they'd seen her care by a monster. A monster! She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly, and someone must have just walked off with her. 
Find Kukio, please. Please. It breaks my heart to think she's somewhere out there crying. Please be night. Oh, yeah, that's kind of my job as a night, I guess. Thank you. The night I can't should be proud of a student like you. Please find my daughter quickly. Hey. Any ideas? Oh, oh my sweet Kukio, please. Please find my daughter for anything that happens to her. If something happened, I just don't know. Okay. Hey. Here with the demon face. Okay, so I guess you gotta find this lady's kid. I don't know where. Hey, what do you Confirmation. What about. Device. Yes, Master, what vision do you seek? Uh, summary hand. Rumors? If you want to press press the time until nightfall, you can always sleep until night. It's also possible to find your hearts with sleeping in there. Okay, so that's how you activate nighttime. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, what do you have to say about it? Hey. Oh, Bina, how's it going? You look tricking on Zelda? I see. We're all pulling for you. By the way, I saw Kukio's mother heading up towards the temple while She looked pretty upset. You don't suppose something happened, do you? Huh? Huh? Kukio's gone missing? We gotta do something. Also looking around too. Ask around to see if you can find someone who's seen her. Okay, so we gotta look. Okay, so as I thought, we gotta ask people. Okay, let's. That's probably what gave us a clue. Any idea? How goes your search for Zelda? Remember to find a bed and sleep if you start getting tired. A quick nap so your hearts are fresh and minds are fresh. I know some things you can only do at night, so I have to keep that in mind. Are there any other townsfolk? <laughs> you might have something to say. <laughs> I wonder how I can get my hands on a bug net from Beetle's air shop. Air shop? I'm trying to think of a way to get Beetle's air shop to stop. There's a bell hanging down from it, and if I hear of your ring it bell. Vito will stop by for you. But being up that high, you'd have to launch something at itself. Any hope of hitting the bell. If you ever look around and can't see the shot, try opening your map. Okay, that's good information, but I need to know where the kid is. Where's Kukiel? Kukiel? Well, I did see her playing over by the graveyard yesterday. My mom called me home, so I left. I don't know what she did after that. Why? Did something happen? Okay, so now we know. Okay, so that's where the shop is. So I do have something I can launch up there. So let's see if I can get the shop. Oh, okay, it's going. There you go, I see it. Okay. Ow. Oh, I dropped some rope. Oh, that's like a crane game. That's funny. Alright, so Beatles are a shop. Let's check it out. Oh, so as you get the wallet, a piece of heart, extra bomb patch, some other stuff. Oh, oh you come all this way. It's so weird to have a customer here. Beetle's Air Shop has everything you ever could ever want. Please take a look around. So if you actually buy something, that would be even better. Yeah, this was, this was getting his exercise on. Wanna know why I'm on a bicycle? Yeah, I'm actually curious. Oh. Aren't you a curious one? I pedaled this bike to generate enough electricity to keep this place in the air. Plus, all this pedaling has got me in fantastic shape. Yep, I'd say my lifestyle is pretty eco-friendly. But, uh, with you on board, there's plenty of extra weight, so I have to pedal as hard as I can. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Please have a look around. I got all kinds of great stuff. Alright, let's take a look. Oh! That'll increase the number of items you can carry in your adventure patch by one. It has to be one of the most useful imaginable for an adventure, and yet it costs nearly 300. Oof. Oh, oh please take a look around when I have things to sell. The heart. How much is it? That's a life medal. It bestows a bunch of mysterious and mystical effects on anywhere. Who carries it? What kind of effects? Don't ask me. I actually don't know. You'll find out for yourself. I'm pretty sure it's a real bargain at Get out of here! Oh, please take a look at other things out for sale. Oh! 
This is what I want. Th that's an extra wallet. It's amazingly useful. What do you think you carry an extra 300 rupees in your wallet? Say goodbye to all the sons you couldn't pick up another rupee because your wallet was stuffed full. Leave no rupee behind. You must be able to see just like uses item is and only for 100. Bro! I 100 sh I'm 10 short! Okay. Let's get to know. The bug wallet. That's a bug net, you know, for catching bugs in Sex 2. So there are many, many bugs here, but you'll be able to catch tons with this and when there are some. Only for 100 rupees, I'm sure you'll make a net profit. <laughs> okay, you wanna buy it? Sure. You got a bug net. Use it to catch bugs and other small things. When you're hunting bugs, remember to approach quietly and strike quickly. Thank you! Oh, thank you ever so much. You gave me the strength to keep pedaling. Okay, so I gotta remember, when I have a hundred, I can get that. Okay, cool. It's good to know. Okay, so it's like the... Okay, got it. Alright, cool. So it's like the, um... It's like using the sword a little bit. Okay, so we gotta go to the north. So I'm guessing this way would be the north side of things. Yeah. Let's go there, actually. Yeah, let's go that way. And we got a shield, which will help us in the fire, because we're going to a fire area. If I'm... Oh, wait. We gotta find the little girl. Uh, zoom in on Skyline. Where's the... Gra Where would be the graveyard? The graveyard. The grave would be right there. Yeah, let's go find her first. The soup is probably cold, but that's fine. It only lasts for five minutes? That's kind of lame. Oh, well. Can't help it, I guess. It's also people. Let's talk to them. Not something I normally would say. Did you hear? A child who had been playing the griever went missing. Can you believe it? Do you really think there are monsters abducting children in our little town? I don't know. Nothing fazy, does it? A child just vanished from our little village. Okay, so the graveyard. Are we heading in the right direction? Sort of. Can I push these? If I know my Zelda well... There's gonna be a place I can go down, or I have to do it in a specific order. Yeah. It's either a specific order, or it's open a path of sorts. Uh -huh. Let's try moving them all and see what happens. Hmm. Is this openable? No, whoops. I say whoops. Huh. Alright, so we don't know where this little girl is, so... Let me see this. Okay, she has a little bit more to say. Here, a child's been abducted. Uh-huh, can you believe it, do you think? I do. What? So there's a chance she was dragged out by a monster? Let's not be ridiculous here. This monster's business is going a bit far. Oh. Not to mention it, there's an old man who lives near here who's always ranting about hidden monsters here in Skylaw. Everyone knows he's a little loony, so no one takes him seriously. You want to know where the old man is? I imagine he's at the Lumpy Pumpkin to the... Okay. You need to fly on your bird there, of course. Okay. Right, okay, so we gotta talk to the old man. Okay, let's go to the old... Let's go talk to the old geezer. There's the Lumpy Pumpkin. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go through that, like, slingshotting teleport thingy.
Made it. Okay. Yeah, I got a book that says you might take an old man's rambling seriously. So tell me, do you believe in Skylab monsters? I shouldn't even call it a monster. It's a demon, I tell you, but no one can say it for sure because no one's seen it and lived to tell the tale. What? What? You want to know how come I'm telling the tale nobody has ever done that? Is that it? Yes. Yeah, well, I saw it, but I was able to escape by the seat of my pants. I will say by my cat like reflexes, I tell you. Any regular person would have lived long enough to scream. Anyway, I saw the thing, I tell you. There's a great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by the tree in the middle of the night, and I saw it hit the gravestone nearest to the tree, and the gravestone lit up. I it pushed the gravestone. The door to the store should open all by itself. The monster then went inside the shed, and then it closed the door behind itself. It was unexpectedly polite for a demon. It was the most terrifying thing these old eyes ever seen, and if you're smart, you'll stay clear of cemetery in the middle of the night. Okay, now that we have our clue, we just gotta go handle that. So let's go. Yeah. Let's go back to Skyloft, go to sleep, and then um, we're gonna go handle it at night. Go through that, uh, like, slick shopping again. Get us there a little faster, you know. Keep the show going on the road. And... Whew. Go to my room and go to bed. That's the bath. We want to go there. That's Zelda's room. Wait, is there anything in here? This probably is my room. That's Karana's room. So that could be the um, women's. Like, this could be the women's side of things. Skyloft map. Okay, cool. That's useful. Instructor Howl. Instructor Owlin. Okay, I was on the bottom floor. I remember that. That's Gruce's room. This is my room. It's all night. You know, I wish I could jump on my bed like that. Just woo! And spread myself out, but I'm a big guy, and last time I did that, I broke the bed. I need to lose weight. Maybe I should do what Beetle does and just ride a friggin', like, stationary bike and fly a store. Oh, I'll definitely burn the weight, but then the freaking thing will just crash and burn because I'm big. And I'll be like, ah, ah, I'm tired. Okay, I don't need to go to the bathroom. I can't get out from there? Can I get out from above? Okay, it looks like, like a classroom. Can I get out from here? Oh, this is Mr. Kapora's room. That's Zelda's dad. Okay, we don't want to go there. Where's, where's my shield? There we go. Okay, so say go to the graveyard in the middle of the night. Okay, so let's go to the graveyard. I remember it being a oh, monster.
Watch out. That's right. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't like me freaking picking it up. It's like a cat. Mm, some cats don't like being picked up. Okay, here's the graveyard. So if I remember correctly, big tree. Is this one of those things where I have to wait for it? what the old guy said it's by the graveyard the one by the tree a ghost opens it up and it lights up so it's in the middle of the night I don't know what else to do I'll take a look around for a little bit I might just go and do something else. I don't know. Well, I said hit, so what if I hit it? Ah! You have to hit it, because I remember he says something about hitting it. So we gotta hit it. There we go. You can leap down. That works too. Okay, so hmm. what is this? What is it, what, I wonder if this is where the little girl went. Probably. <coughs> Eek! Now right, we gotta get in there. Little girl, then you learned about stranger danger. Oh boy, it looks scary. It was like a Dreadlord from World of Warcraft a little bit. Stop, please, I beg of you, don't hurt me, Batro. Oh goodness, I know how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you I mean no harm. We were just playing the Scream as Loud as You Can game. Isn't that a fun game? Oh dear, perhaps the explanation is in order. My name is Batro, and I am a monster who resides here in this humble dwelling below Skyloft. But please allow me to correct one part of misconception. Why, certainly, uh, I'm certainly a monster. I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let a lose a blood curling scream at the sight of me. She sent since she began to visit me here, I have felt positively jubilant. You see, my heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. But as you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw in friendship, they run and scream as though they've seen a walking nightmare. Alright, silly me, I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there's an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as a gratitude crystal. <laughs> gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just look at them, and knowing there was such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into a human. 
Oh goodness, nothing would delight me more than to become human. From the moment I laid my regrettably demonic eyes on you, I could tell you had a gentle and generous heart. Won't you please gather gratitude crystals and show them to me? Sure, we'll do the side quest. Truly, you'll help me? I've heard that one can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their problems. They could also be merely lying about here in, about here in Sky and everywhere among the clouds, everywhere you find people. I'm sure someone with a heart as pure and genuine as yours will be able to see them. Please solve some troubles and gather me all the gratitude you can find. Any help you can provide will be dearly appreciated. I promise your assistance will not go unrewarded. The dear girl should be back home safe and sound by tomorrow morning. Give her parents my warmest regards when you see them. Oh, and good luck getting the graduate crystal I require. To start, please bring me five if you can. That'd be so splendid. If you do a great kindness for somebody, you may even find several at once. Oh, there she is. Hi. He's not a bad man. He saved me one time when I almost fell over the edge. And he lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. Anyway, he said it was dangerous to go out alone. I see what you did there. I see you, Nintendo. I see what you did there. At night, so I'll just hang on here for a little while. Tell my mom I'll come home in the morning. This thing's a girl. I see you. I see what they did there. Reference to the first Zelda game. That's probably look. I mean, I don't know if that's like in the Japanese version of this game. They say the same exact line in Japanese, like what was referenced in the first game. If so, that's great. If not, it could just be the gene, you know, potential genius of the localizers at, at Nintendo of America. Like, oh, that's out of reference. I mean, it makes sense. It is dangerous to battle alone, especially for little kids. Right, let's go back to the Night Academy sleep, and then maybe we can um, we can talk to the to the mother of the child. And say, hey, lady, we saved your kid. Just saying. my room again mm. okay I remember we went down some stairs and I think on the bottom of the stairs you make a left and that's my room I must take a Pora's room my room should be right here to the left right across from mean old groups until the morning oh it's a gratitude crystal thing either I think Whoop. bro I wish I could do that Wait, what if I go to... Wait. Hold on. What if I go back to sleep until night? Until night. Same. You got one gratitude crystal. This form when a person is completely overwhelmed with feelings of thankfulness that crystallized gratitude is created. Collect this and show them to Batru. Man, when Groose gets sad, he's downright miserable. He's always in his room sulking. When he does come out, he gets angry at everyone for no reason. Even me. The way I hear it, you're the one responsible for getting Zelda missing. This is on your mess, so you better fix it. Chill, kid. Yeah, this is a classroom? Oh, this is like a mess hall. Yeah, it's sort of like they come eat and hang out and stuff. Huh. 
Okay, let's try the net here, actually. Got it. You caught one blessed butterfly. These things are commonly found in every province. In rare cases, you might find them flying in strange locations. Is there another one? Bro! Got it. Okay. okay uh, she was up by the... The lady was up by the goddess statue, so I'm guessing she's gonna be there. Is she still there? She's not here. Let's check the houses. And then after that we'll... We'll, you know, get started. On our actual adventure for the day. Let's check the houses. Ah, there she is. Oh, B Knight. Kukio is safe at home, and it's all because of you. I don't know how to express my gratitude. I can finally smile and laugh again. Thank you ever so much. There's a gratitude crystal. We got five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feelings of gratitude in crystallized form. You must take in a lot of gratitude, but this much of five crystals helping people feels good. Okay, so I remember Batru said that we should go back to him when we get five. Can I go to him in the daytime, or is it only at nighttime? Let's go find out. The graveyard isn't that far. Or is it one of those things where it only works in the daytime, so we're gonna have to go back to bed and wake up and all that junk? Okay, let's go, I guess, I don't know. I do want to see what that has, what he has to offer, because I don't remember. Let's just go back to bed, and then we'll come back and check, and then... Can I... Can I go to the desert at night? Probably. The Knights Academy. Oh no, it's a bathroom. I keep thinking this is the way out. Oh my god. Right, no. We don't need to go to the bathroom. We're not dealing with that crap. No pun intended. Um, oh yeah. How, that's annoying. I need to go always to the top if I'm going to sneak out. Kinda doesn't make that much sense. Okay, that's Kapora's room. Trini, you'll never be promoted to full night if you can't learn to keep your wits about you. Oh, and don't let me catch you going out flying at night. Only trained knights such as myself should be doing that. You take care now. Hey. I'll have to check. 
I like how they have the little like searchlight in there. That's kind of cool. What do you want? Huh? Hey, be night. It's dangerous out at night, so be careful. This area is my patrol oh. route. At night, monsters get really active around here. It's the duty of a knight to protect the public from any danger. How admirable. <laughs> admirable nonsense. This is the bare minimum of what people expect from us. We are knights in training, and this is what knights do. That's the pivot way. All I need are the smiles of the people I protect this payment. Mm -hmm. This is what it means to be a knight. I'm sure you understand now how that feels one day, be knight. I am an amazed be knight after all. Ha ha ha. But anywho, let's, uh, let's go. Few monsters. Okay, they reform to get big again. Got him. Got him. Let's, let's, let's go talk to Batcher again. Nope. Alright, let's go to the graveyard again. Ooh, those are what, dragonflies? You caught one starry firefly. These insects are among the rarest in the sky and can only be found in dark places. I'm sure these bugs will be useful one day, so I might start collecting them. That's fine. I just want to collect one. If there, if there an easier place to catch, I will absolutely. But they better run, kid. Anywho. I do not support still treatment of animals. Just saying. Oh, it's a beetle. You got one sky stag beetle. These bugs are really popular with the children of Skyloft. The princess packed a lot of crunch, so watch your fingers. So I got five, so let's see what Betra has to give us. <laughs> oh, you've got quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent! Please take this as a token of this demon's deepest appreciation. We got the medium wallet. This hefty capacity of this wallet allows you to store up to 500 rupees. I'm still going to need more gratitude crystals to become a human. Please, don't you aid a poor, unfortunate demon in need. Okay, that was worth it. That was totally worth it. 500 rupees? Hell yeah. No pun intended considering what that was a demon, but... Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and start the adventure now. 500 rupees? That's a, that's a godsend. Okay, I've been streaming for almost an hour. Okay. Got him. Alright, right, let's go. Let's go make it daytime and let's go. Well, I finally want to do something a little bit more robust and um, adventurous. Versus just sitting here helping people and helping demons who can't go outside because they're demons.
Wait, mine was way right over here. Let's sleep until the morning. Let's finally do some fun stuff now. <laughs> Why is he going the wrong way here? Alright. Get my rupees back up again, so I might as well start fighting all the rupees. Dropping in Zelda Fortnite. <laughs> Alright, start building. Scavenge weapons. Hurry before the gas comes in or the storm, whatever. Master, this is Elden Volcano. It is an active volcano rich with the power of the earth. How do the tree trees live here? Elden Volcano. Approximately 65% of the region is covered by lava. It is inhabited by a large number of creatures that thrive in the extreme heat and direct flame. Please exercise caution with flammable materials such as wood and fabric. In the event you catch on fire, I highly recommend you extinguish the flames by performing a forward roll or a spin attack. Oh, this looks just convoluted. Let's take a look. Since we're here, let's go ahead and save. Always get to save. Goddess cube already? Alright, let's take a look. Alright, so hold it up high. Oh, wrong way. Cool, we got that. I think this is the wrong way, but I like going the wrong way sometimes because then you get to see like if there's any hidden goodies. Like I see the ladybug there. You 
caught one volcanic ladybug. They say these bugs get their deep red hue from the ore they eat. They are slow moving and tend to stay in one place. Easy money, okay. Okay, so we need bombs, so that's a hint that we're probably gonna get the bomb bag here. Oh, okay. The mole people. Hey, hey, hey! You mess with our turf, you're gonna pay? Whoa, you're not. Yo, Led, I don't think this is one of those red creeps. Yeah, I think you're right. No reason to scare the hair off of us, though. Sorry about that, pal. These monsters showing up and messing with our turf has got me on edge. They show up here and I'm gonna knock the red clean out of them. That's what I'm doing here. Yeah, me, Led. Yeah, whatever, Mr. Too Scared to Dig in the Dark. Anyway, if you're looking for treasure, you stay clear of those red guys. Aww. Huh, you're looking for a friend, not treasure? Aww. So that must have been your pal that passed by earlier, sprinting by without so much as a glance in this direction. I was sort of a blur of moment, of movement, so I didn't get a real good look, but I knew I wasn't one of those red creeps. Your pal must have been straight up, must have gone straight up here, so why don't you follow? Us mudmas have reclaimed this territory to search for riches. We're what you call treasure hunters. There are loads of these red, blue, and green stones called rupees around here. Sometimes you can even find silver and gold ones too. And while they ain't technically treasure, you can also mine these mineral chunks. I bet you could use them to make stuff. Since you're here and all, you might as well look around, right? Good to know. Okay, I see that. We got fire bats up ahead. goes back down. Okay, so the lava rises and the lava goes down. Okay, so it rises and then subsides. Going up. Yeah, I know it's hot, like I know. Safely cross here. This must be like the home of the magmas. Okay, we can introduce the bombs here. Hey, who are you supposed to be? Never seen you around here before. Whoa, hold it right there. Are you a friend of those red creeps? No way. You're not? Well, you don't look like them, that's for sure. You're not that ugly. So what then? You're here to pick up bomb flowers? Bomb what? Bomb flowers. You're joking, right? These are them growing right over there. You pick one with A and and the and the fuse lights. A fuse like later, boom! You don't want to stop and snip this flower. Dangerous plant, believe me. <laughs> but once you learn to use them, they're a powerful weapon. Those mugmas are crazy about them. You can toss and roll them the same way you do jars. So what you can do with those bomb flowers over there? Uh huh? You know how to roll and throw and stuff? Actually, kind of do. <laughs> of course you do. You can lift things up and throw them and hold things below you to roll them. I mean, here everyone knows that. Alright, cool. So now we get bomb flowers. 
Okay, that's like a little stool you can sit on. Grow back, okay. So, cool. A little training here for these bombs. So, you could throw them up, and you put the Joy Con underneath, you could throw them like a bowling ball. Okay, it's a little, it's a little wonky, but it works. You know, it'd probably be better to play as him standing up, but I'm sitting down because I just, <laughs> I don't know, just am. Yeah, I don't have a lot of room to maneuver here, so I probably should stand back a little bit. Oh dear. Register the rolling sometimes. <laughs> nice, got a hundred. I've been streaming for about an hour, that's not bad. Another magma. Hey, oh. another stranger, and you're not one of those red creeps either. Yeah. I saw his neighbors getting crummy every day. Dude, I feel you. Huh? Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Here I saw this funny dressed character go into that hole over there. Oh. It might be that friend that you're looking for. You want to know what this cook was wearing? Uh. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the getup was blackish. Other than that, I don't remember much. I don't think we can make that, can we? <laughs> Not at all. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got like a angler fish thing. Like an angler seal fish thing. Let's check the other way first. Bowling ball it. Big. I was gonna be hard with my setup here, but I'll try it. It's like a monkey, too. Okay, we got it. That's gonna be harder because it's hard to maneuver the Joy Con sometimes. We call this friend. You and the boys can stop me. Okay, I know 
to do here. Big. Correct. I should probably stand back a little bit and then. That's good. Mmm, I think you're slick, huh? Anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I didn't realize it went down like that. A dung beetle? Yo. Okay, the dung beetle died. <laughs> Clearly this dung beetle's not that smart. <sighs> Okay, I could climb up here. Okay, gives him a bit of a bird's eye view of the situation here. Convenient that there's bombs. A sledgehammer, some kind of stool. Might. No, don't go into the lava. Right. This could be the wrong one. I hope it's the wrong way because I want to see what else is there. Sometimes. Yeah, do that one from above. Aha! A piece of heart. And the best part is that's my fourth one. This gonna be the heart container. Your capacity increased by one. Excellent. Let's use the beetle for a second. I'm gonna use this for scouting as well. Nothing really here. So I'll check a couple more places and then we'll continue. Just some hearts. More hearts. That's something I really like about the beetle. You can basically use it to like scout ahead. It's pretty cool. So you want to go back down here. <laughs> Okay, I see what to do. Is there bombs on that side? 
Because I know I can probably blow that up over here. Oh, come on! Oh, okay, so I just can't go slow. Got it. How's my health at? Okay, that's... Okay, I'll do that. God, sneak attack! Wait, you ain't one of those red guys. Don't creep on me like that. Almost had to tackle you there. Didn't mean to yell at you, but those red jerks moved in and have been stinking up our turf, you know? They came up through that hole back there, so I sunk the road leading to it in lava. They'll stop more of them from moving in, I'd say. Of course, we can't tunnel underneath it, so it's no sweat for us. Pretty clever, huh? Oh, we can tunnel underneath it. Stay away from the plug that's holding back to lava. It'll do more than singe your brows. I know. Okay, I need a bomb. Because I need to get through. Can I run with can hold on, can I run with the bomb? Okay. Not really. Oh, I think that's how you do it. Hold on. Try throwing it, I guess? Or I have to roll it. Maybe it's rolling it. But don't stand on it. Okay, this is going to be a little tough, but I think I got it. Yeah, I have to roll like a bowling ball. Got it. Okay, that allows access to that area. Nice. I'm a little low on hearts. I got the cold soup now. Okay, the cold soup is fine. Back up. Mm. Get back up here. There's two ways to go. Let's save. Let's save the game. Okay, this oh, oh, no, 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 I saw the amber thingy. This probably takes you up. Yeah. Figured. Okay, so that's the way up. Oh my god, dude. That's so hard to maneuver. Let's try that again. Now that I know that's the way out, let's try that a couple more times. I want to get that treasure chest. Here's the amber thing. And let me step back a little bit here. Okay, so it's... 
Let's go to the side. Hopefully money. Eldenor. This hard con concretion sparkles brightly. It also has lots of different uses. I want to get that that goddess statue, the goddess cube. So let's go get it. Okay, so if I remember correctly, these guys have to give me like a digging tool. Ugh, those creeps just shimmied on in and took over our territory. Yeah, what are you doing? Don't be sneaking up on me like that. Huh? You're looking for your friend? Can't help you there. Nobody's come through here, so maybe they went up the mountain from over that way. Ugh, wish someone would chase these clowns out of here. Leave it to me. <laughs> I'm calling his okay, I need to kill that guy. Why is he guys gonna keep on coming? And they won't stop coming and they won't stop coming. So let's go make him stop coming. Uh, that works too. Whoa! You took out every last one of them? Sure did. Alrighty, nothing else worth inspecting. Treasure! I can't go up there. Ah, interesting. You're one tough customer. Thanks for all your help. I don't blame her for not knowing this, but us Magmas always honor our debts. Let me give you something to prove it. Anything special request? Oh, so he's a Lannister. Got it. A way forward. All oh, right, trying to find your friend, aren't you? In that case, take these things. There's something pretty special if I say so myself. You got the digging mitts. These ship, these sharp claws, to dig through patches of soft earth. Try to dig with a anywhere you see something. That something has been buried in the soft ground. With these, you should be able to get to the top of the ledge right behind me. Just try digging that hole below your ledge. You're in for a surprise. I just hope your friend hasn't been captured by those red guys. I hope everything's okay. <laughs> cool, now we got digging gloves. <laughs> we can dig like the magmas, these mole creatures. I want to see something over here I can dig. Oh, another amber thing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So that's the way forward. I thought I did see some digging spots over here too. Let's see what's over here. Whoa. It's all dug out. Nice little reward. This must have been lost to the magmas. So we gotta go try the other two holes. One of them probably leads to the treasure, if I have to guess. And then the right side must be the, the correct side. I mean, it is right after all. That's not. <laughs> oh, dude, he's, he's just like. There we go. What's in here? He had some Elden Ore. This heart. Okay, yeah, we, we got it. Alright, so there's one other way I can go. I'll try that hole and then not, then I'll uh, just keep going forward. Over yonder, if anything at all. Nothing at all. Okay, so just the middle path gives you any gives you the Elden Ore. Magma. Whoa! You scared me, silly. You can't just start digging around above my head, you know? But where I get, but I get where you come from. You never know what you're going to find when you dig, so it's impossible to stop. Rupees are the most common treasure you'll dig up, and some you might even score Elden Ore or even some hearts. So if you run across the hole, you got the time. Dig, dig, dig. All right, thanks, bud. I already figured that out. But... Okay, so go this way. So it's like, okay, we got like a little bit of a maze. Need them more to the like in the corner. Oh, that's a tough one. Okay. Over there, oh, I'm on fire. Oh. Not in a good way. Yeah, there's nothing over here. 
Okay, I'm a little bit trapped in, but that's fine. Okay, here's some dirt. Four rupees, not too shabby. Oh, some a dirt patch here. I'll, I'll use a card, sure. Nothing really that I saw, so I think we're good to keep going. No, I needed, I needed the, uh, the bug catching that. People just came charging through here, dressed all in black. That a friend of yours? See that up ahead? That's what we call a drop, drop dead, dead end. But this character danced right over it. Seriously, jumping over a gap like that? My jaw hit the dirt. God has chosen hero. Zelda's ahead. Hurry. Thanks. But, uh... Okay. I'm like, why is there vines down there? Okay, that's a bomb. I think I know where this is. Big. Let's see if my intuition is correct. Okay, yeah, this is okay. This is yeah. This is this is a shortcut, not the shortcut I was thinking, but a shortcut nonetheless. Okay, so now we have a shortcut, and we can go this way. Over here, no. Some towers over here. 
Let's see. Something we can bomb over here. That's gonna probably be the shark that I'm thinking of. Okay, I don't think we can get that. That's probably too far. Let's save our game. Let's go. Oh, okay, so they're gonna drop boulders. I know I have to keep running. Is this the shortcut I was thinking of? Yes. This one takes it to the beginning, I think. Got them both. Yeah, this is the beginning. Yeah, this is the beginning. Okay, cool. I'll try something. I remember doing this back in the day. I can't, I don't think I can reach him. Well, the game's basically telling me I need to use that, so. <laughs> that's, I'm sorry, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Maybe do it here. Yeah, I could do it. Got him, and the rock fell on his head. And down it goes. Rip again. Even the call to your aid, man. Oh, there's a bombable wall here, though. Uh, it just stuns them, it doesn't make them fall. Huh, a cave. Remember correctly, I can bomb in a form of bridge. And they call me Timber. <laughs> okay, that looks like the right way, but let's see what's over here. Whoa. Thanks for stopping by. First time here, am I right? The name's Tubert. Nice to meet you. 
I run this little game I like to call Thrill Digger. Ooh. Do you like money? How about explosions? Well, dig up some root before you hit a bomb and suspense the little game with Thriller Digger. Wanna try it? Michael Bay will be proud. Let's try it, just once. The beginner course has less spots to burrow into, but it's great for first timers. It's 30 rupees to play. Give it a go? Sure. Hope you dig up lots of rupees, just be careful where you're poking down the dirt. Could go kaboom, so uh, good luck. So I wonder, since there's difficulties, is it kind of like... Is it kind of like Minesweeper? Where they'll tell you kind of like... Where it would be? I think this is Minesweeper. So I'm gonna conclude that's one of them. That's gotta be one of them down there in the corner. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this as if it's Minesweeper. Jeez. Uh, okay, let's try this. 43 rupees. Not bad. Okay, I think I understand. You made a small profit. Nice digging. You should try again. How about... Okay, I want to figure this out because I do like my sweeper. So it looks like the more valuable the rupee that you get, the more likely you are to be next to a bomb. Yeah, so they just make, make it look like my sweeper. Okay, so... So, if it's green, then these two are safe. There's one nearby. So, that should be safe. That's one nearby. So, there's two. This one's probably bad. That was risky, okay. Okay, so it's all cardinal directions. <laughs> Let me go ahead and turn a profit. Check that bad luck, I say. So it's not just like up, down, left, and right, it's also diagonally adjacency as well is in play here. Okay. So green means all of them are safe. If it's a blue, that means there's two. If it's red, this probably means multiple. Understood. Okay, I'll try this one last time. Okay, so all of these are safe. Okay, these two are bad. This one was a green, so... Okay, I wish I could remember, though. This might be safe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is basically Minesweeper. Okay, got it. You made a small profit. Nice digging. I'll try one last time. This is actually kind of fun. This will be the last time. I swear. Okay, so green me. Okay, so green means they're all safe around them. Blue means there's one bomb. I think the red one means two. That doesn't help. Okay. Um, this one's looking kind of sus. Okay, so. That means one's nearby. One's close. These two are a little sus for me. I don't know. This one's looking super sus. Uh, shoot. Okay, this is risky. Okay, um... One of these two has a bomb, for sure. Okay. 
This one's the bomb. I was right. I was right. That one was the bomb. <laughs> Like, in normal Minesweeper, it tells you a number, but the thing is, though, in, um, in this game, it doesn't, like, after you dig it up, it doesn't tell you. So that's a little annoying, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. But I'm glad it's basically Minesweeper and Zelda. I'm a little hurt, but I'll be okay, because this heart's right here. That's amusing as hell. There's also a bombable wall there. He's a salary sniper for a reason. That's all I'm gonna say on that. <laughs> They buried it around here someplace, but I can't find it. Yo, Led, this is the place, ain't it? So, what is it they buried again? A key. Key. K E Y. Key. They busted up the key to the door and hit the pieces all over the place. I'm telling you, one of the five pieces is buried right under here. Right around here. Hey, that reminds me, that strange blonde girl in the weird clothes got taken away, too. That's right, I bet they got something really valuable stashed in there. And that blonde girl they took is probably part of their master plan too. I'm telling you, I can smell the riches from here. So what are you saying we do once we find all the pieces to the key? What do you think, In Igneous? We sneak inside and take all the treasure we can carry. Hey, why are you so worried about a key when we can just dig our way in? What? Um... Just saying. You're as dumb as you look. Master Bina, I require you confirm I require your confirmation on critical information obtained from the mod The Ali Garp figure taken deeper into the must have been Zelda. My calculation my calculations agree, Master. There is a 90% part of the figure in question was indeed Zelda. Additionally, I calculate there's a 90% probability that the key to this door is made of the same material composition as this mechanism that bars it. I have detected objects of that same material in the surrounding area. I ascertain the locations of objects will aid in our search for Zelda. I have registered them as dowsing targets. Neat. Okay, cool. Alright, 
towards. Ah, uh, whoops. Okay, that's this part where the key is. You got the first key, you need four. Gotcha. Yo. Down it goes. That's probably where one of them is right there, too. You got the second piece of the key. Collect all five pieces to complete the key that opens the temple door. You have to find the other three pieces. I need the propeller for this. The, the gust bellows. There's some hearts here, I might as well grab it. Ah, I need a way to get up there. And bombs, too. Take a look around first. Right, where's oh he's up there. Um how many bombs around here that I can use? Oh, what up here? Dumb beetles. Shoot. Can I make it here if I throw this? Probably not. Got it. You caught one Elden Roller. These small body bugs roll a big ball of something. The way they bustly roll stuff back to their nest is quite adorable. Yeah, it's a dung beetle. Okay, so he can't blow that up. Oh, yes, he can. A goddess cube. Okay, cool. Oh, we can just easily access the goddess cube. More goddess keys for later. That's not very smart, or the quiche, or whatever. It ain't very smart. <laughs> Ooh, Elvenor, nice. Okay, let's see. I think I know how to get across. It's probably the wrong way, but whatever. I want to. I want to explore. Ooh. 
a stamina fruit over there. Let's see if I can grab that before I ascend forward. And now we have a bridge. Probably one of the key pieces around here. Go here yet. Worth a shot, though. There's bombs for that, but I don't know if I can. That part? I mean, I'll try. I need to throw, like way faster than that. Oh, nice. That's gotta be where one of the key things are. Easily. Yep. Yeah, the third piece of the key. Collect all five keys to completely open the temple door. Now there's two. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's go along me. Alright, hold on. Let's dazzle again. So it looks like it's in this direction. Whoa, okay. Um, uh, looks like. It's further down. I was going to do the Fortnite dive, but okay. Oh, it doesn't do the diving thing! Great, okay, whatever. I'll just go back down. Yeah, I'll just do that. <coughs> Let's go back and take a look. <coughs> is that the key, or is it still like further just back that way? It wouldn't be here, right? No. Right, you gotta go further down, I guess. in that direction. Okay, so we do have to do this part. 
Yeah, it's it's got to be in there for sure. Yeah, we're not gonna make that. At least I don't think so. Is there a way I can get into from that direction? Well, hold up. Okay, that doesn't help. can't reach that in time. I am pretty sure though that's where we're supposed to go. It's pointing heavily in that direction. I just don't know how to get to open the bomb from that side. Can we get like a bird's eye view maybe? I don't really see an indication that that would be the way to go. Yeah, that's a tough one. I should just go back down, I guess. We gotta get over there somehow. Is there a way to go over there? Hmm, I see. There's a way to go down. Okay. I see it. Okay, we gotta go back up. So, I'm probably one of the parts where I, um,. Slide down in the sand, I have to fall through a hole. Got it, okay. Always worth looking around. That gave me a clue. Slide down. Wait, wait, recharge, and where do we go? Ooh. 
There's a dung beetle, that's fine. Yeah, I need to get over there to that side. Okay. Yeah, those rolling hills over there. Those ro that's that sand part. I, that's where I need to go. So this might have been the right way the whole time. Oh, wait a minute, is it one of those? Oh, it's one of these where you have to go here. Yeah, I remember now. Wait, get out of that fair. Scoop it. You got a fairy. This code will provide six hearts. If you put it in the bottom and keep it with you, you'll automatically. It'll come to your aid automatically if you run out of hearts. Okay, cool. That's a good safety net. What about, what about this stuff over here? Whoa. More Eldenor, that's always great. 20 rupees, awesome. Have the butt catcher net, so let's whip it out. Catch some dumb butterflies. Oh, okay, got us. Got us, dude. Rupees over there. What if I go back the other way? Let's try going this way. I see rupees there. Start right there. Oh, I have to wait. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. So I have to wait till both of them are about to blow, basically. Whoa. Whoa. This might be one of them. Got it. Yep. Nice. Okay, so I guess the way it goes this way. Okay, I can use the hearts. Okay, that's how we're that's how we're gonna get out. This could be the key. No, it's old and hard. Whoa! I hit the mother load here.
Yeah, this was easy. Okay, that gives me a shortcut. That's pretty close by. I have to take this, I guess? Let's go back in that area, because it's the only place I haven't checked. Okay, I went on the left side, so let's go on the right. See what we can do here. Mm. Yeah, just like how we drained it that last time. Okay, now I remember how to do this. Something to that avail. Maybe we tell someone how y'all get more momentum. No, I think we gotta roll it. Rolling. Rolling. In the Never mind. Okay. Okay, let's try tossing it from even higher. Maybe? Nice. That's where it is. That's gotta be where it is. Easy. You got the last piece of the key. Now you can open the temple door. Hurry back to the summit and open the door to the temple so you can continue your search for Zelda, who has been taken to the depths of the temple. Nice. Alright, let's go back. Cool, and this takes us back to the top of the shortcut. Go into the temple. All right, let's let's do it. I just realized this um this temple has very um, East American inspiration in terms of the architecture. That's pretty cool. I've got the wind in there, but we gotta go down there. Sometimes I feel that exact same way when I open the door and see how hot it is outside. Yeah, we have to go out. Earth Temple.
I'm missing and those red guys are everywhere. I never should have came here. Oh, it's you again. Come all this way in search of your friend, eh? That reminds me, before I came in here, I saw a weird looking blonde girl that get dragged away. But don't even dream of going to, to the rescue. Those baddies are everywhere. If you want to live to live again one day, you should head home for home, pal. Well, sadly, I don't get that option. I mean, I kind of could, but. We got a trek on. Drawbridge. There's one more, I see it. Uh, yeah, the beetle. Going forward and Broken all the way. Oh, these guys. Master, I'm detecting the enemies ahead. They appear to be creatures of very significant physical ability. Press the up to target them. Press down to call me. I will then share any data I have on that enemy. Sure, you can. Got him! He got a lizard tail. It's a tail of a large lizard with a spike ball at the end. Sure, it's a little gross, but you never know when, when you might need one. I can use those as a flail. Flailing. Right. Look around, we got some ammo. That's actually pretty handy. We got like those like puffer fish things. Did I reflect back the fireball? No, it just stops it. Scour strike it? Oh, it doesn't reach. No, I can't hit him. Can I hit those bombs? I can't. Will it cause a chain reaction? I think so. Ah, I remember this. You have to roll with the ball. That's why I gave it the seeds. Somewhere. 
I wasn't close enough. Okay, we gotta go a little further in. Near the edge, but that should be good enough. A treasure chest. Nice. Let's go get it. You got a golden skull, a rare, rare, a real rarity among skull ornaments. It shines with an eerie golden color. Yeah, one dropped earlier in the last stream, but I, I didn't get it because it despawned, unfortunately. <clears throat> I can see my sword as I'm rolling around the, the ball. So I could go across. There's all stuff over there. Okay, you gotta rebalance. Can I just run him over with the ball? I think I can. Okay, that's how you kill him. You, you run him over. Blast! I must have dropped it earlier. Hey, nice timing, pal. It's me, Led. You showing up here must have mean we're connected somehow. You know, like fate or something. Anyways, do me a favor and get my bomb bag, okay? I was behind the rock looking for the treasure when those creeps showed up. I panicked and hit the road, but it looks like I dropped it. It's a bag carrying full of bomb flowers. I can't imagine not having one. Oh, hey, I guess I don't have to imagine because I lost mine. Anyway, it's back there. Do me a favor and get my bomb bag back, will ya? Okay, so we get the bomb bag, which is going to be pretty handy. We got one of these idiots up. What else is there in this room? There's all stuff over there. I'm gonna go check that out. Gotta hit the bridge. Okay, there's also treasure that direction. We probably, we probably need the bombs to get him from here. Okay. Let's get back on the ball. It's crazy. Question is, how do I get over there? I can't get it from there from this side. On the other side, maybe? Satisfying. You got a blue bird feather. Very few small birds possess this sky blue plumage, making these feathers extremely rare. Nice. Alright. Give her out the treasure. Okay, now I'm filled up. I think I have to go something like this. Uh, 
Now the question is, how am I supposed to get the ball to this side? Maybe I don't. Maybe I have to go from like a, a very roundabout way of doing things. Let's go get the bomb bag, I guess, or in the direction of the bomb bag. That's the only place I can think of going next. Maybe to bomb some kind of structure. Kind of like in, um... Kind of like in Link's Awakening. Let's go this way. I have to buy two of these. bombs in his bag and carry them with you for later use. Now you can carry bombs with you, there's a good chance you can get to a place you haven't explored yet. A sea of lead will lend it to you. I'm out of bombs though, let me get these spoils here. A bomb bag with no bombs, now oh, that's interesting. Oh, the architecture went from like Mesa America to like, kind of like, like Southeastern, maybe like Thai, Cambodian maybe. This is very like Thailandish. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, the elephants remind me a lot of like India, like Indian, East, you know, Southeast Asian. Hey, you found my bomb bag. Sorry to put you through that. I guess I owe you one. So let me have it. What's that now? You want a bar so you can go deeper to the volcano? Oh right, you're looking for your friend. You sure you have, you have put yourself out there getting this far? That reminds me. How's my pal? He's worried. He's worried about me? What kind of pal am I putting him through that? You must be worried too, not knowing if your friends that are alive. I'm not letting you borrow my bag, though. Nope, I'm giving it to you. Just don't blow yourself up. You got a bomb bag. Land was kind enough to give it to you, so make sure you take good care of it. Now you got my bomb bag. Go find your friend. I have no bomb server. Hold up, I forgot to tell you something. Knowing me, that bomb's probably empty, so let me give you a little something to get you started. You got five bombs. Throw them or roll them to blow even harder objects. Try to pick up and store them whenever you come across any. If you had a bomb, just find some more and fill the bag up. When you got a bomb flower, press B to put it in the bag. Don't forget, the bag can hold the ten bombs, so if you run across bomb flowers, be sure to fill up the bag. Yeah, I only got five, so that's probably a good idea. So pick him up, store it in. Oh, there's a ladder here, I didn't realize. Pick it up, store it in. Pick it up, store it in. Pick it up, store it in. Cool, I'm all full. I didn't realize there was a ladder here, so let me go ahead and uh, see what's up here. can get to that side, I might be able to get something really useful here. The thing is, I won't, oh, a fairy. I'll use that now, actually. I'm full on money, and I'm full on bombs, and I'm full on everything, so... I don't need to go 
even get more money unless I spend it. Which I could go spend it now, but I kind of want to complete the dungeon. I've been streaming for two and a half hours, so... I'll probably just call the stream after this one is done, this dungeon's done. I think one dungeon a day seems pretty... It's not like a decent pace, so this, you know, play to last a while. I'm gonna roll back down. Oh, it's stay, it's stay put. Cool. We open, we open the way. Nope. Trying to show you kid me? No, sir. Rebound. He trying to spam man. So you don't wake up. Oh, it's more like a parry and into parent to shore you can. Wait, I don't need this anymore. Well, the El actually no, the Elden Ore could be useful. I should do it for the Elden Ore. Wait, can I bomb these guys? I can! Okay. Oof. Oh, he did, anyway. This is probably the map, if I have to guess. We have the dungeon map. It shows the layout of the area and reveals unexplored rooms. Nice. That X looks like a place where I can bomb my way through. Let's see if I can look at the map. Okay, after it looks like bomb my way through. And I think that's how we're gonna get around. With the, with the ball. <laughs> Let's take a look. So here's how you can bomb. You take the rolly ball around, bird statue, and then boom. Okay. That's how we're gonna do it. Okay. Understood. I guess I could see how I could see that being breakable. Where's the rolly ball? I think what I gotta do is go on the ball and then go towards that wall, just blow it up from the ball. Got it. Yeah, that ball looking kind of sus, so. I said that wall looking kind of sus. There we 
Yeah. Let's just avoid rolling around. Okay. So I gotta run over these amphib this like lava amphibian frog things. Let's jump off here. Kind of sus too. Yeah. Let's, let's see what this is or not. Okay. I feel like I could throw a bomb in there. And it would reach. That's going on that side. Let's just go back, 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 around, roll around. Rolling, rolling, rolling down the lava. Ah, uh, we got a cut. Okay. Um, we need the beetle for this. I don't have a bow and arrow yet. That works. And then I gotta open it from the other side, so... <laughs> They're running away from me, that's funny. Yeah, this is more like Thai architecture, like Thai and like Southeast Asian. That's cool. I do like my Miso American stuff, but the outside looked very Miso American. Uh, they didn't look like like a like a uh, anchor law type of architecture. Not a bad time to save, actually. Save the game. My shield's still you know, doing well in the durability department. That's good. Right. Gotta hurry up while he stopped blowing lava. Can I go? Cool. Oh dear. Okay, okay this ought to go around it, so. Careful, I'm about to fall. Tiny treasure. Nice. All right, cool. Come on, give me the okay. Heart's nice. I need the Elden Ore though, more than anything. I 
And this is how we're gonna push that little piston there. There you go, that opened up the bridge. Now how to get up there though. All the other side's gotta be pushed in too. I didn't push it all the way? Oh, wait, actually hold on, no, 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 no. Oh wait, no, 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 yes. Yes, we gotta go back all the way. That's lame, but oh well. Just gotta roll it on back. Roll it back like that, roll back that code that we need in Smash Brothers, yes sir. I seriously wonder if I could put a bomb in that mouth. Looks very suggested that you could, but I can't reach it though. I'll keep that in mind though. This little like cloister over there I can get more bombs if needed. We're, we're almost back around though. So you can push in the piston. Don't want from this direction. Oh, I could have gone. Wow, I didn't realize I can go under that the whole damn time. Wow, dude. If I would have known, I would have gone all the way around and wasted fun time. <sighs> oh, what's he doing? Fall guys in a while. Can't wait. I hope it comes out on the switch soon so I can stream that. I love to stream that. Okay, here I can get more bombs. Looks like it. Now I got a ton of to stock up. You may never know where you need all of them. Come on, give me that Elden Ore. We need some Elden Ore. But that's the win. Weird, but all right. We'll make it work. Okay, I got to throw it pretty high up, actually. Oh, 
No, that I gotta wait on the timing. Okay, so. I probably do something like that. Roll, 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 roll. Okay, good enough. Okay, that gives me a resting point so I can rest my stamina, and then you go all the way up to the top. Okay. That's what that's for. Bombs, because I might need them. Cool. Careful of those traps. Run, 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 and there's a key. Oh, we're pretty far into the dungeon. Okay, I'm... Yeah, I should save, yeah. No, and, uh, it never hurts to save. It never hurts to save, because, uh... What if something goes wrong? You're just there. No problemo whatsoever. Alright, cool. Yeah, I see a dragon. Okay, I saw some Indiana Jones stuff coming up. Coming up. Go ahead. You got the dragon statue. It is a carving of a coiled dragon made out of dazzling gold. Mushu a little bit from Milan. Run! Get out of the way! Solid. I like that rock. Anywho. Let's see. So, hold on. I want to do something like no. It's gonna be like that. Yeah. There we go. up next <laughs> hearts boss a skeleton <laughs> master I detect Zola's ore in the surrounding area I detect an especially strong reaction from this chain. I calculate the probably Zelda was bound by it recently at 95%. I surmise Zelda was somehow able to escape and proceed along this path. I suggest you continue with all possible speed. Alright, you heard him. Oh, there he is. Okay, I gotta do my fabulous with me. Oh, it's you. Let me see. No, that's not it. This is so embarrassing, but I seem to be at a loss for your name. Not that it matters, really. To tell you the truth, I'm feeling a bit frustrated, and right now I just need someone to vent to. I heard my underlings had finally captured the Spirit Maiden, so of course I rushed over here. What can I say? I was excited, flustered even. What did I find when I arrived? That agent of the goddess. She had it once again. You see, what I'm trying to say is... The goddess serving dog escaped with the girl! 
I must have the Spirit Maiden in order to resurrect my master. I must have her! I got a little carried away there, didn't I? I don't deal well with complications to plans I've laid out so carefully. It's a character flaw of mine. Oh, dude, I feel this. I feel, I feel Girahim. <laughs> oh, but something good can still come from this day. I've had all this bottled up anger smoldering inside me, and now I can release it. There's someone special I'd like you to meet. Oh, don't be shy. I need to vent all this unhealthy anger. And your agony is such a great stress reliever. It won't take more than a few moments with my friends before your shard to a satisfying crisp, darling. And let me tell you, that will put a spring in my step. Giant multi rock spider thing. Pyroclastic fiend small deck. Alright. Skaldera. I forgot how to fight it, but so far it looks like I can't really do much. I can't run up forever though. Can I throw bombs at it? I can. Rolling down the hill. Okay, this. My Zola Trinity taught me anything. Sure, that works too. Okay, if I learned anything from playing Zelda games in the past, if the giant enemy has a vacuum like breath, throw a bomb in its mouth, and it takes a hit. Okay, it's still the side. Okay, so far so we want to run from it. Okay, we're both close to it. I need to get more bombs done a little bit. Ow! Okay. Right, that's where this is gonna go. Right, back up, I got two bombs though. I was gonna suck up more. Okay. Okay, roll to the right. Roll to the center. Okay, easy money. Any more bombs. Whatever, just do it. Pretty guy up here. Throw the bomb in his mouth. What about the sword? Boy, on it crazy. Back up. Get underneath. Watch to the side. Run, 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 run down. Don't protect me more, buddy. Run underneath. Whoa. Run to the side. I figured that was gonna come. That was kind of obvious. Exposed now. This thing reminds me of Mike from Monsters Inc. Mike Wazowski. It's basically lava Mike Wazowski.
and a heart container for me. That's a cool boss. You got a heart container. Your life has increased by one. Now you're fully replenished. Nice. <laughs> Alright, go stock up on bombs, and then we're gonna go see what's up with Zelda. Sucking up bomb bombs because it might come useful pretty much later. Eventually, it'll be useful. Nice. Now, let's see what's inside. That sound. It's Zelda and some person? I mean, I know who this is, but. A portal to the light. Step inside. Cannot go to him, Your Grace. Remember what we discussed. Restrain yourself. Focus on the task at hand. <laughs> I, I have to go. I'm sorry, B Knight. And there she goes. Just like that. Hey, what the... <laughs> the Maddox there, though. It took you far too long to get here. Looking at you, I fear the goddess is mistaken in her choice of agents. If this failure is an indication, you have no hope of defending her grace from those who seek to assail her. Do my words anger you, boy? Do my words sting? Let them. If I had not come when I did, your Zelda would have fallen to the hands of the enemy. The truth of it is, you were late. You were late, and you failed to protect her. I sent Zelda ahead to learn more of the fate in which she is destined to play a part. Listen well, Chosen One. If you wish to be of help to her grace, you must summon a shred of courage and face the trials laid out before you. Only when you conquer the trials will you be of use to Zelda. No sooner am I understood. Next up, Skyward Strike. Perfect, it's almost three hours in, so this is a perfect time to end it. I'll end it after all this is resolved. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. From the edge of time I guide you, the one destined to carry out the goddess's mission. The spirit maiden who descended from the clouds has passed through the earth spring and makes her way to a faded place. The parched desert of Laniru, 
That is where the Chosen will pass through the gate of time into a distant world. You got the Amber Tablet. The weather surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. I will find her. Yeah. I will meet up with her. Oh, I will indeed. Let's go. Alright, and here we are in the Elden Volcano right outside the dungeon. Well, I've been streaming for almost three hours, and this is a perfect time to end it. Ideally, I want to do like one a day, like one temple a day. So that's what I'm aiming for. So that's going to be it for this stream for today. Um, I will be streaming Mario Maker 2 on Sunday. Tomorrow, Saturday, I'm not going to be streaming. I don't know exactly, let me think about this real quick, because I know I'm busy Tuesday, I'm busy on Tuesday and Thursday, and Sunday stream, Sunday I'm busy, so I got Friday, Monday, and Wednesday to stream, I'm probably going to be streaming this again probably on Wednesday, because I think that's when I have the most time to do so, Wednesday and Friday will be my next two stream days for sure. So that being said, I'll, I'll make a reminder on my channel to, to do so. So yeah, I will be streaming this again on Wednesday, 5 till maybe around the same time, 5 p.m. for sure. That being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and don't be sure to check out my other videos for other Nintendo content. I'll see you guys next time, and be safe out there. Later. Let me go ahead and save and quit. Me all officially. Yes. All right, everybody. I'll catch you later.